Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here and welcome to another video presented to you by EA Game Changers. Let's get into it, y'all. We're getting close to kickoff and this is the man they'll turn to to lead the rushing attack in this one. Will he be able to do the kind of damage on the ground they need? We'll find out. It's the Eagles going up against the Chargers. Larry, it will be the home for NFL football until 2020 as you get a look inside the intimate StubHub Center here in Carson. I'll tell you, you wouldn't think 30,000 people could make this noise. That's half the size of a normal NFL stadium, but this is no normal crowd. They are ready to go as their Chargers get set to match up with the Philadelphia Eagles. Hi, everybody. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And, Charles, we take a look at this Charger Club entering play here. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. All right, guys. Today we're going up against the New Look Chargers. Now, they are at home, so, you know, being their away team, we got to make a statement early. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be coming out of the I form, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think that the run is going to be something to be feared today. Now, we know that we have the Hawk in the backfield. And coming out of the backfield, I get a nice little block. But instead of stiff arming, I get locked up real quick. Now, after getting stopped on second down, I have to make something happen here, man, or it's fourth down. So I go ahead and get the handoff. Get a little bit of daylight, and I trip my way to a couple yards and the first down here, man. Hey, it's all about moving those chains, baby. Look at my guy. My guy's happy he moved them chains. All right, guys, and then on the very next play, I decided to go with a pass play here because I think I've been running a little bit too much. And look at Ertz catching the ball, getting a nice little spin move off, and he's gone all the way to the end zone. Let's talk about it, man. Zach Ertz catching that pass, man. Not even play action here, guys. This is just a nice little pass here. What a heck of a play, man. Zach Ertz with the burners. Who would have thought he would have burnt everybody, man? Goodness gracious. I couldn't even catch the man. I mean, I know I'm the hawk and all, but look at this. I'm trying to catch him myself. I'm like, man, I want to be in the shot. All right, guys. After getting tackled, only gaining four yards. I need to come back strong, man. So we're going with the no huddle. You guys know how I play, man. If you guys didn't check out K Spade's newest video, man, versus me and Mutt, that's how I do, man. I play that no huddle game. Get a nice little block, run over a couple players, and man, they need the whole team to take me down, guys. One man can't do it alone. It will never happen, man. One man just can't do it, man. So we move the chains right there, man. We're on a 43 yard line. Look at this, guys. Get up off me, brother. You ain't strong enough. You need more girth. And I, I I made that man hit a split at the end. Hold up. Let's go ahead and replay this real quick, man. The last guy that put his hands on me made a split. Look at that. <laughs> made that dude hit a split. Crazy. Oh, man. God. This will be the last play of the first quarter. We are in a sticky situation at third and 12. But I made it a passing play because I believe in Zach Ertz. And look at Zach Ertz as soon as he snaps the ball. Getting it off to Jeffrey for some nice yardage, man. That's a nice advancement of going into the second. Man, now that is the start of the second, guys. First play, I decided to go with another pass play. Carson wins, dotting his eyes. And Matthews across the middle for the touchdown. And the crazy thing is, guys, Matthews is no longer an eagle, man. That's crazy, man. I recorded this whole entire season before Matthews was traded, man. You're, you guys are going to see him for the rest of this season. I'm sorry, man. Okay, guys, we are at the two-minute warning, man. It's 12 to 7. Still a game. I'm going right now with a little bit of suggestion offense just because I'm starting to get tired, man. You know, I've been playing this game for so long, man, capping so much footage at this point. But things can happen when you release the hawk so i decided to go with another run play here man we're going with another suggestion the clock is winding down man the quarter's almost over can we get to the end zone before the quarter's over guys what do you think man spam it up in the comment section i break one tackle break another tackle they need to oh my goodness guys they need everybody they cannot come at me with one person guys never all right, so it's 12 to 7, man. 28 seconds left in the second quarter. We stopped the clock. 
Oh, we got a couple chances here, man. I'm going to Carson Wentz for a nice screen play. I got a little bit of daylight going to stiff arm and ah. Oh, two guys still take me down, man. I should have stiff armed both of them at the same time. I should I should have chewed the ball and stiff armed both of them. What do you guys think? That would have been lit, right? <laughs> All right, so under pressure, man. Carson Wentz. Dot in his eyes again, man. Hey, I decided to go with another no huddle, man. Change it to a run play. I'm not going to call for my last time out because I believe I can get into the end zone with ease. That's right, man. That's right. We lit, baby. Linking up. Getting another score before the half. And I'm taking a commanding lead, guys. All right, guys. We are up 19-7, to man. And it has been a lackluster third quarter. Neither one of us can put any points on the board right now, man. We're just holding on. But I'm going with another play, man. It's third and 15. I decided to make it a pass play because, like I said, I believe in Wentz, man. And look at this, man. I call for the ball coming out the backfield late. And we get the first down, man. Oh, man. That last play, guys, it was it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I caught him coming out the backfield late. They didn't know I was a receiver there. And I get another pass, another reception, and another touchdown. With that touchdown, guys. I think we I think we're out of touch, man. I don't think they can come back. All we gotta do now is burn out that clock, man. I love getting reception touchdowns, man. It makes me feel good, man. All the time. Now, guys, I just wanted to show you the next couple plays. It is four minutes left in the fourth quarter, and we are here to burn out the clock. Alright. That's what we're here for, man. We're here to burn out that clock. So I'm just gonna go ahead and with a couple run plays, see if I can get into the end zone. I get stopped there, but hey. Things can happen when you keep giving it to the Hawk, baby. So we go ahead and go with a pass play here, man. See if we can get into the end zone. And oh, man, to Brent Selleck. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey, man, our tight ends are amazing, man. I'm just, I just want to point that out, man. Our tight ends are amazing. All right, guys, so check out this bonehead play here, man. Instead of taking the outside, I decided to cut to the inside and get mangle bro but i got belief in us man it's third and goal i got zero fumbles this season okay now i have no daylight anywhere but i believe in our blocking man and daylight opens up man as everybody presses the line pushes back and i get right in there man no need to dive or even push on a line man i love it man i love it when i just see daylight at the goal line man it's beautiful all right, guys, so we just got another delay of game. As I was recording this gameplay, people were just talking to me, asking me why am I creating a beast like this. <laughs> but it's 31-7, to 7, man. I'm just, you know, running the clock out, man. It's not much time left in this game. All we got to do is kneel a couple times and it's over. Obviously, the defense is not going to call timeouts. They know that it's over. They know they have no chance. But, uh... I do want to pattern up my stats right quick. You know what I'm saying? Why not let Wentz get loose, man? Why not? And I'm just standing there, obviously. You guys see, man, snapping the ball, still talking to people on the sideline, man. <laughs> hey, have you ever went away from keyboard, man, and then, like, your dude just doing some stupid stuff? It's just funny watching stuff like that, man. But we still running some pass plays, man. All we got to do is get the first down here, man. So, of course, got to let Selleck do his thing. Booyah, Jeffrey getting tackled. Jeffrey has been a nice target for Wentz all game, man. But let's go ahead and get this last play up out of here, man. We're about to get up out of here with the W, man. We came to L.A. doing what we had to do. Chargers are pissed that they couldn't even put up more than one score on us, man. But, hey, that's how it is when you go up against the Eagles and the Hawk, baby. Hey, you know what? I'm going to start calling it the Hawk and the Eagles. No, the Eagles and the Hawk sound pretty good. I think that's a trademark name right there, man. The Eagles and the Hawk. But, hey, man, I want to thank you guys for watching this video, man. I got more Madden 18 coming, guys. Way more Madden 18 coming. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications if you're interested in Madden 18. Make sure you guys leave a comment below. Leave a like on the video. Man, I'm burnt, man. I got so much gameplay coming for you guys, man. I got NBA Live coming. I got more 2K17 coming. Woo! I'm working, man. Look at that, man. Lackluster third quarter, man. Not one of us put any points on the board there, man. But check out these highlights, man. I told you guys, coming out that backfield, man, it's easy when you see daylight. <laughs>
Look at that, man. Two scores. Easy. Man, I love my so old Eagles, line, bro. <sighs> you got to love them. You know, when they make it look that easy, you got to love them. Now I know how Ezekiel Elliott was feeling last season, man. By the way, Ezekiel, you mad or not? All right, I'm just I'm just saying, man, I'm a, I'm a bitter Eagles fan. You got to be happy anytime, anything. Look at that, man. 110 rushing yards, bro. Let's get it. I'm going to highlight you guys in the next video. Peace. Case money. <laughs>